Hi, I'm Robert Stromberg, and you're on the set of What Lives Inside. Parker? Dad, action. This tunnel and a, and, a, and a red light, and it opened out to this gigantic world. Ready, and three, two, one, go. Ah no! Action! Tell me why you're here. It's really interesting to play with the love of relationship versus the love of creativity and how those interplay and how those affect each other. Our story is about a young man named Taylor Delaney and he's the son of a man who created a world of puppets and magic and wonder. Pops is uh, a, uh, a creative genius who has gotten to be very well known and very famous and very uh, focused on his work. Taylor and his father d did not have the best relationship. They didn't communicate very well. His father dies and he ends up going back home and through discovery in his dad's workshop, he's transported to this magical place. Taylor escapes to the world that his father created and through his journeys through that, he discovers himself. In doing so, he meets characters who help him find that relationship that he was missing with his father. I'm here to help, I'm here to find the boy. The idea of reconnecting with family is lovely and forgiveness and also of not rejecting your God-given creative talents. Using this product to help tell the story is part of the fun for me. He not only uses it as a tool to sort of change the world and play with that, but it also is a utility for him to sort of get through certain situations. All the stuff that hasn't even been made yet is gonna be incredible. All the creatures and this world that's gonna be created. Let's get great stuff from people out there in the world and, and integrate it into what we're doing. I look forward to uh, everyone's participation and having the people uh, who've contributed be able to see their own work fully rendered and alive. It's about the creative process and creativity and, and about encouraging people to find that in themselves. Hopefully it's, uh, uh, it's something that people find inspirational in that way.